With 3D TV prices falling and the technology improving, there's never been a better time to think about buying a 3D telly. But before you splash the cash and transforming your living room into another dimension, here's five tips for getting the right 3D TV for you. The type of 3D TV you get should be dependent on how many people you think will be watching it. Active glasses are expensive and because of this you won't get more than two pairs with the television. Adding more to your collection isn't cheap, with the average cost for glasses around £50. So this type of technology is best left for those who put quality rather than price at the forefront of their TV buying. Passive glasses are cheaper, with manufacturers like LG offering up to eight pairs in the box. And if you want more, they only cost a few pounds. So passive 3D is great for those who have big families and don't mind that the quality of the 3D doesn't quite match that of active shutter displays, despite what manufacturers try to tell you. While the temptation is to buy the biggest TV possible, if you buy a screen that's too big for your viewing area, this will have a massive effect on the quality of the 3D picture. A good rule of thumb is that when watching 3D, you need to leave five feet of space between you and the TV for a 40 inch television, with this expanding a foot or so for every 10 inches you add to the screen size. It's all very well buying a 3D TV, but you have to think about content. If you're already a Sky subscriber, then you can get the Sky 3D channel. If you're a gamer, then the PS3 offers 3D gaming. Both Samsung and LG have also announced 3D portals available within their smart TV platforms. For the majority of users, however, you'll have to purchase the 3D Blu-ray player if you want to get 3D content. Buying a 3D TV doesn't mean that you'll stop watching programs in 2D. Even though a TV is badged as 3D, it's worth thinking that the television you'll be buying is a very good 2D telly with 3D capabilities. The 3D feature is more of an added extra, offering you the option to watch movies, sport and documentaries in 3D, but also allowing you to put the glasses away once EastEnders comes on.